What's up guys and welcome back to another raid shadow legends video with me the real deal so today we're going to be doing finite 25 in under two minutes um i've got a really nice team to show you and my fastest time is one minute 37 this team has a 100 percent win rate and it varies between like one minute 37 to about two minutes so it's nice and fast um but yeah finite is one of the best places to farm gear in the game it has some of the best gear sets Got Savage, Stun, Regen, Crit Damage, Shield, and Immunity. But uh, yeah, Savage is definitely one of the best sets in the game for your nukas. It means they're going to do loads of damage. And every now and then, Raid will let you get two times chance or three times chance to get Savage. And basically, the faster you can do it, the more times you can, the more runs you can do, the more gear you can get, the stronger your account will be, the stronger your nukas will be. So definitely need to be able to do it. So stage 25. This is the team. We've got Archmage, Seer, Allure, Draco, and Renegade. Um, really important setup on the team. So let's just have a quick look. So Archmage, we want him to prioritize um, disability. So that's going to put all debuffs on him. And that means that Seer will um, strip those. And that'll mean that she does more damage. And yeah, so basically every round we want that to be the priority. Seer. We're looking out clan about a uh, clan banner because it just sort of slows down the run a bit. We want her to prioritize her clan, uh, sorry, karma burn on every single run. And then allure, uh, allure, allure. Uh, it doesn't really matter what she does on the first two rounds, but on the third round, we want to lock everything out and just keep psychic whip just so she keeps pushing back the um, fire knights turn meter. Keep that down low. So, renegade is really important. We want to lock out. All our abilities apart from A1 on the first turn. Second turn, we want to lock out, lash out. We want her to prioritize the cooldown reset on her. And then round three, we want her to open and prioritize lash out. So that's going to do three random attacks. And that is going to have more, you know, basically knock the um, shields on the Fire Knight. So we can start doing damage and start controlling him. And then Draco, we want him to open with this ability. So he's going to put out decreased defense and weaken for the first wave and for the second wave. And we don't want him to use poison jaws because that's four random attacks. So that means more, four more hits that we can do on the finite shield. And we want to save that for round three. So we're going to open up with that. And, you know, so that's going to basically knock all those shields down. And then we can just start chipping away and just finish off the boss. So uh, let's watch the run. So we're going to drop the first wave in under like 10 seconds. As I said, it's very, very fast, this run. Okay, seven seconds, and we're already onto the second wave. Um, so I'm just going to talk you through how the team works. So Allure will always go first, and then Archmage is going to come in and basically throw loads of buffs on the team. Um, Draco will then put out drop defense and weaken. Seer is going to eat all of our buffs and then just drop the enemy team. And then Renegade is going to reset our abilities on the second wave, and then we just go through and cycle again. Um, the only way you can make this run faster is if you do have a Prince Kaimar instead of Renegade. Uh, Renegade only resets cooldowns by two turns, where Renegade, uh, sorry, where Prince Kaimar will do a full reset, um, and Sears A3 has a full uh, four turn cooldown. So yeah, if you do, if you're lucky enough to have a Prince Kaimar, which I don't, then you can make this run a lot faster. So now Allure is just going to keep the turn meter. Of the fire knight down the entire time just with her a1 um renegade she's not really gonna do much for here us here she's done her job she's helped us clear those waves nice and fast um i have put loads of damage gear on her though so she's gonna do quite a bit of work for us she does need a uh, shield set though as an extra buff just so we do make sure that seer does drop those waves in the first turn uh archmage isn't gonna do much for fire knight either draco and seer are though Draco is going to be pumping out some big damage um, and Seer is also going to be doing some damage with her A3 as well every now and then. There we go. So we've managed to do it in 1 minute and 37 seconds. As you can see, Seer has done almost 4 million damage by herself. She has out damaged Draco, however. She's doing all the damage on the waves and Draco is doing a decent amount of damage on the boss. So yeah, that is the run. Let's check out the champion's gear and masteries. So first up, we've got Draco Morph, and he is in Relentless and Crit Rate. Uh, gloves, we've got Crit Damage. Chest, we've got Attack. Speed on the Boots. Attack on the Ring. Crit Damage on the Amulet. 
and then accuracy on the banner. Uh, stats are really important on him. So I've got 4.2k attack. Would love that to be sort of 5k and above. That would mean he'd be doing a lot more damage and getting the boss down faster. Um, we've only got 222 speed. Sorry, 220 speed. Uh, speed is really important. He needs to be uh, third in the rotation. So you need a Lord to go first. Then you need Archmage, then Draco Morph, then Seer, then Renegade. Uh, you can have Renegade second fastest on your team. But you want her to be the slowest as possible because it means she's going to have less turns. Less turns she has, the better because she doesn't do a lot of damage and she only, she's only there to just reset cooldowns. Um, and then we've got crit damage at 218. I'd love this to be sort of like 250, so we're doing a lot more damage. And we're a little bit overkill with accuracy. We've got 271. 250 is more than enough. Um, so we do have Brimstone, which is going to be not helping us at all for. Um, finite it does help for clan boss but it doesn't help for finite um, because he's never going to get a turn and if he doesn't get a turn that means that he's not going to be getting hit by smites so there's not going to be doing any additional damage to him uh, masteries these are my masteries that i use for uh, clan boss very sort of standard stuff um, this can be quite useful for unkillable teams but it's not going to be useful for finite um, and cycle of violence can be quite useful so it means that we get another chance of like going for our abilities and doing some more damage and war master is a must that's really gonna help do some damage on the boss uh retribution is nice but we're not gonna be doing any counters again we're not gonna be doing any counter attacks on the boss because he's not gonna be getting a turn on us so next up we've got archmage um, so Archmage is really, oh, actually, let's look for his gear first. So he's um, double perception and speed. Got crit damage on the gloves, attack on the chest, speed on the boots, uh, HP on the ring, which I, I should probably swap out for attack, to be honest. Um, HP on the necklace as well, which should probably also be crit damage. Uh, and then accuracy on his banner. So things that are really important to him is you want him to have as much attack as possible. Um, speed needs to be faster um, than Draco. So we've got him around 240. Um, and the faster he is, that's good as well, because it means he has less chance of, you know, the Fire Knight cutting in and, you know, making us lose. 100% um, crit rate, he needs this to um, land his stun ability. So he needs 100% crit rate. Um, and then he's got... 206 crit damage which I could definitely bump up I mean he'd do more damage on the boss um, again I've got overkill of accuracy and that is because I use him for doom tower sometimes so he needs 350 accuracy for that but for fire knight 25 250 accuracy is more than enough so masteries very standard stuff just a bit of accuracy um, and then lore of steel really important just to get more speed more accuracy and then just very sort of standard rate you know crit rate crit damage Bit of life drinker and then just more damage and just hugging the left hand side uh, sorry hug hugging the left hand side down to war master and then we've got my seer so my seer is in savage and perception um, i would prefer to have crit damage instead of perception however to reach the stat requirements i needed to put her in perception and she is in some of my best gear like some of the stats in this gear is very very good um so we cool all we care about is accuracy speed crit damage and crit rate um you know you could argue that accuracy isn't the most important thing on her but it does help with doom tower um being able to strip those buffs so we've got 43k hp we've got 209 attack um speed 217 so slightly slower than draco 100 percent crit rate 278 crit damage for this to work, you do need to be around above 270. Um, if you could push 300 plus, you're almost always guaranteed to get that one like one minute 40 seconds speed runs. And then, yeah, loads and loads of accuracy. So we've got 389 accuracy. Like I said, 250 is more than enough um, for Fire Knight. Mastery is very standard stuff. So just to show, just when you're free to play, anywhere where you can cut corners, and there's no real benefit from here. So that's why I stopped farming masteries on her for uh, stop farming scrolls on Minotaur for her. 
Um, but yeah, so really important. We want accuracy. Um, she has no, you know, she doesn't need any bonus accuracy on her A1. So we've taken, um, you know, this for survivability for Doom Tower. Uh, a bit more accuracy when the team's all alive. And then Circle of Magic just to hopefully uh, reduce the cooldown of our A3. So we've gone crit rate. Um, there's no, none of these sort of bottom abilities really benefit her apart from crit damage. So I've just taken, um, just in case anyone does have shields, we're going to do more damage to them. Then we've got Ruthless Ambush. So our first hit is going to do more, so do, do extra 8% more damage. Um, cycle Violence, again, to help us um, reduce the cooldown and cycle back around faster to our A3. Uh, Blood Shield or Stoke to Fury. N they, not really either of them really benefit us. They're just a way of us just getting to floor execution, just to get 20% more crit damage. And then we've got singled out, so we're going to do more damage to any enemies that have uh, less than 40% HP. Um, and bring it down so we do more damage to targets that have more HP than us. And kill streaks can be really important uh, because the more damage we do, um, we definitely you know we're going to be dropping waves on our way and we're going to be stacking this up very quickly. Uh, one piece of advice is my seer used to have a uh, whirlwind of death and basically every time you kill someone it's going to increase your speed i took this offer because what happens is she's going to you know increase her speed by 18 and it's going to mess up the turn order so i would always say avoid taking whirlwind of death with her so next up we've got a law and it's going to be a law number 3 the faster law um so she's in Double speed and perception, and she needs to be very, very fast for this to work. Uh, so gloves, we've got crit rate because she needs 100% crit rate for that A1 turn meter reduction to work. And um, then we've got resistance on her body. Um, I'm not sure why I've done that, to be honest. Uh, must, must be for some reason, though. Um, speed on the boots. Uh, attack on the ring. Crit damage on the um, amulet. And then accuracy on the banner. Um, she doesn't do a lot of damage, so there's probably no point in me rolling this gear up. Um, so yeah, so you want her to have survivability. So we've got 30k HP. Um, attack 3.1k. As I said, she doesn't do a lot of damage. It doesn't really matter. The stats that really are important are 100% crit rate, which we don't have. We're too, too off. Uh, you want her to be as fast as possible. So you want her to be, I think, faster than 291, I think is the... The lowest you can get away with it. Um, so I've got mine at 300. Uh, and then you need her to have a lot of accuracy. So we've got 291. Just to make sure that we do keep landing that term meter reduction on the A1. Uh, mastery is just very sort of standard stuff. Again, Laura still coming really in clutch to help us sort of push back term meter of the boss. And Evil Eye as well, just to help as well on the waves. And then again, it's just all about damage, hugging the left hand side and going all the way down to Warmaster. And again, because she's not going to really be killing anyone, she doesn't do a lot of damage. I mean, you could put this on her A1 so she does do a bit more damage there. Um, but like I said, she's not really a damage dealer. She's more of a control champion. Uh, save yourself some energy, save yourself some gems. Don't, don't, she doesn't need full masteries. And then let's come down to Renegade. So I've gone a bit overboard with my Renegade because I wanted to see if I could speed up the runs a little bit by giving her more damage. Um, so she's got some very, very nice uh, crit damage gloves with a double roll of crit rate and speed. Uh, attack on the chest. Attack on the boots. Uh, attack on the ring. Crit damage on the amulet. And then attack on the banner. So we've got 4.K attack. 181 speed. 100% crit rate, 250 crit damage. And she's still not really pumping out big numbers to her. She don't need to go that crazy. The only thing that's really important to her is just having that 180 speed and making sure she's in a shield set just for another buff for Seer to eat. Then Masteries, um, just very, very sort of standard stuff. Um, and then, yeah, just sort of all just attack on the left-hand side all the way down to Warmaster for the boss. So that is the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps some of you guys out. 
and that you can start doing a uh, finite faster. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.